For the coarse aggregate specific lab, we're gonna need aggregate that has been soaked for at least 24 hours, basket, two pans, and some dry towels. We might also need safety equipment, including an oven mitt and safety glasses. We start the lab by obtaining approximately 2,000 grams of aggregate. Just reach in, soak it, put it in here. Once we have the aggregate, our objective will be to take a towel and dry each individual piece of aggregate until it reaches what is called the saturated surface dry condition. The saturated surface dry condition implies that there is moisture inside the pores of the aggregate, but no moisture can be observed on the surface. Probably the easiest way to do this is to take the aggregate, spread it on the towel, and then dry it. While one of your team members is drying the aggregate, you might want to take a dry pan, bring it over to the balance, tear it, make sure it reads zero, then bring it back, and as you dry the aggregate, you put it in here, make sure all the particles are in the saturated surface dry condition. Once we have our aggregate in the saturated surface dry condition, we are ready to take our measurements. We will need three measurements. This reading is the aggregate in the saturated surface dry condition. We're gonna take the aggregate and we're gonna weigh it underwater. To weigh it underwater, we're gonna put it in the basket. We're gonna put it underwater that has been set at the right temperature. First, we wanna make sure that we tear the basket. So put it in here. Wait for a few seconds so that the readings are stable. We tear to make sure the reading is zero. Then we take our basket and we dump all of the aggregate in the basket. Make sure no particles are lost in the process. Again, we take our basket with the aggregate, submerge it underwater, let it sit for a minute or so, so the reading is stable, and then we record this number. This is our second number that we need to calculate the specific gravity, is the submerged mass of the aggregate. We take our uh, aggregate, put it in a pan, and put it in the oven overnight. The next day, we take our dry aggregate that has been in the oven overnight and we weigh it. We start with our usual process of getting a pan, placing it on the scale, tearing it, making sure it reads zero. Then we take the aggregate that has been in the oven and we put it in here. Again, make sure all of the particles are accounted for. We take this reading. This is the open dry mass of the aggregate. Now we have all three measurements that are needed to calculate the specific gravity and the absorption of the aggregate.